Gourmet chef Stefan Wiesner is out in the Swiss mountains with his dog, Levy. They're looking for some tasty pieces of wood. This spruce tree seems promising. I cook with pretty much all the trees that grow in Switzerland. Almost all of them are edible. Today, Stefan Wiesner has his eye on Swiss stone pine. The first thing he does is sniff it. It smells fabulous. Stone pine. The tree's aroma will be captured in the dish he's planning. The Entlebuch region is Stefan Wiesner's home turf. He frequently scours the landscape for ingredients. These pieces of pumpkin have been lying on ant piles for a few days. The ants give the pumpkin an added flavor. Ants have a wonderful citric taste because of all the formic acid they produce. Better than lemons. For the last 25 years, Wiesner and his team at the Gasthaus Rösli in the village of Escholzmatt have been serving up Swiss nature on a plate. Sometimes some heavyweight appliances are needed. The pine bark is turned into shavings and put in a cooking pot. The chef puts on the lid and heats the pine shavings over an open fire. They're distilled into a vinegar that has a delicate woody taste. Wiesner uses the vinegar as flavoring. For example, it goes well with venison. The garnish is roasted pines, marinated lichen, and stone pine nuts, a dish composed of 100% natural ingredients. The second course is the formic acid-flavored pumpkin, which is supposedly also very healthy. Wiesner wants his dishes to appeal to all the senses, his signature style has earned him all sorts of nicknames. The guy who cooks with trees, the kitchen alchemist, the sorcerer. It's just a few of the ways people have described me. He works his magic in an old barn. This is where Wiesner stores his ingredients. This pine bark dates back to the Stone Age. It's 14,000 years old. It was found in a prehistoric forest, buried in loam. We use it to smoke ingredients. He also finds a use for rusty nails and horseshoes, and even stones. The inventive chef turns them into flour, made of Swiss slate, iron ore, and granite. Flour made of rock or minerals is very healthy, so long as you don't eat too much of it. I eat granite every day and it does me a lot of good. Today he's using it to make a dessert, ice cream made of stone flour and served on stone. <laughs> <laughs> Wiesner might be a sorcerer, but he's quite the showman, too. And his shows can be quite spectacular. He prepares bone marrow in full view of the guests. They love it, and so do the critics. Stefan Wiesner's ancient cuisine has earned him a Michelin star and 17 gomio toques. Viele Gäste. The guests tend not to forget the experience. They say later they can remember every single thing they ate. And that's what's so special. There's nothing else like us. A growing number of chefs try to copy Stefan Wiesner's style, but they can't keep up. He's always refining his technique and recipes, and he's not likely to run out of ingredients anytime soon.